I just got off the court with the new Artengo TR960 Control Tour 16x19 tennis racket endorsed by Gal Monfias. And guys, when I was telling you in my previous video that this racket is similar to Wilson Blade, I was wrong. So guys, stay tuned. Small points, small details that I could have done better if I wanted to win. But that's tennis, so that's life. It was a huge match. Rafa played unreal. Uh... So guys, I just came off the court a few hours ago home. I took a shower and I have lots, lots of thoughts in my head. So I got out and hit with my friend, with my sparring partner, Jeanette. And you will see in the video that footage of the training and what I did, what I did. So I grabbed at the first, let's say 15, 20 minutes, I grabbed my Technifiber racket, where it is? My Technifiber racket. I grabbed this T5 XTC 295 gram tennis racket. I got warm, I really practice because I didn't want to play right at the beginning with the Artengo racket. I wanted to feel my racket and then quickly transition to the Artengo racket. We played with all the balls. We played with the Technifiber club balls, which I used in a previous match like week ago, one and a half hours. So the balls were quite slow and the Artengo racket was strung up freshly with a Technifiber Black Coat 1.28 at uh, 24 and 23 kilos because of the smaller head size. I usually string my racket 25, 24, but this 630 square centimeters head size requires a little bit more for my taste, uh, softer string bed. I added this dampener it's the it's the famous dampener from technifiber that is used by Iga Sviotek by Daniel Medvedev great dampener by the way I think it's called the Vibra clip something like that with a patented technology it can't go off the strings it just stays there even if you hit the ball with it it just stays there it's great so I added like two grams by using this dampener so now the racket has about 307 grams not 305 and the swing weight is around 310 maybe 312 so a really nice maneuverable racket so now to the first feelings when i hit with that racket boy it was it was a different completely different feel than i expected but I was wrong in the my in my previous video if you didn't see that the unboxing of this tennis racket and the quality control test of this racket without strings with no strings so a perfect quality control a really good quality control from Artengo top notch weight good balance and a little bit lower on the swing weight than uh, posted than the info on their website but uh, once again, great weight, perfect weight actually, 305 gram. It really showed that the Artengo is trying really hard to make a great tennis racket. So, so uh, I told you in that video that this racket feels or will feel and will it, and looks like kind of blade. Oh boy, I was so wrong. Once again, if you look at the frame, if you look at the head shape, if you look at this part, if you look at the throat, if you look at this part and this part, and if you hit with the racket, you will suddenly find out that this is a serious, control-oriented, low-powered tennis racket with great customization possibilities. So guys, if you are 
the one who wants to customize his racket to the taste of let's say really a pro level tennis racket this will be one of the best sticks on the market without a doubt so the reason for that is it's a 305 gram racket and the balance is 315 millimeters so you can easily put loads of weight right there on the let's say three o'clock and nine o'clock uh, place of the head and you will definitely definitely need it why the reason for that is when i hit first balls with the racket i was like okay no power no spin no stability and i was like oh man the record is either bad or I'm too bad and I realized during the training and after that we played few games I realized that you must hit the ball right inside in the center of the sweet spot of the racket otherwise it will be very unstable in your hand very unstable uh, one of the let's say key strokes for me personally to test the stability of the racket is the sliced backhand and man that's a completely different story compared to my technifiber racket this is a much stable racket with higher stiffness this is like 60, 65 ra and this one has i believe around 70 ra so much stable racket it is like the bubble pure drive tennis racket very stable great on volleys great on sliced uh, strokes and very powerful this one on the other hand if you hit, if you miss hit it a little bit then the slice has no no power no no speed it just has some rotation but the ball flies like like this it goes up and then slowly falls down you just can miss hit the sweet spot and you need to really be precise when hitting with this racket and this goes all for for the all other strokes and one more thing what i needed to do to make this racket work so obviously with my technifiber racket i can play some nice decent spin actually a quite massive spin from both of the sides especially from forehand with this stick there is like 30 percent of that it is really i would say spin unfriendly and still this is a 16 by 19 pattern so there is also the 18 by 20 pattern stick that is really kind of endorsed by Gal Monfils uh, but I can't get it in the Czech Republic right now but on the French Decathlon store there you can have it but this 16 by 19 it still doesn't really put the rotation to the ball and what does you does this record remind you what does this record remind you that's the question so this is actually maybe kind of copy of the head prestige mpl 2021 previously it was named head prestige s and if you look at the specs they are let's say quite similar so the prestige is a 99 inch head size so about 639 square centimeters a little bit bigger the frame is 21.5 millimeters thick this one is 22 millimeters constantly the swing weight for the prestige mpl is about 313 i believe and the stiffness is the same 65 so it's it's almost on the i would say on the same level of let's say feel and of uh, the power of the swing weight so if you want a really good good orient good control oriented racket then this will be 
stick for for uh, advanced amateurs that can really customize the racket to the specifications of the let's say pro stock rackets really easily due to the balance to the hand so so when i hit with the racket i was like oh man no power no spin nothing works sweet spot is small am i too too bad or is the racket bad and when i realized i need to do everything better and i need to change my grip so from the let's say uh, western or semi-western grip i almost needed to to play like more even more flat with this racket so so if you look at the style of let's say martin chilich how he plays with his prestige rackets this is exactly the style you need to do you need to play with this racket more flat not like this no not spin spin the ball right rafa you need to kind of push the ball in front of you like for example daniel medvedev and of course the forehand the forehand you need to kind of hit the forehand like roger federer because this record is also kind of similar to the pro staffs so to the lighter pro staff so yeah guys when i uh adjusted my game to to this racket actually my sparring partner Jeanette she had no chance against me and usually we play really nice points nice matches but when I got time when I was great good on timing with this racket the racket really worked well when I hit really through and you need to hit fast no slow no slow strokes Kind of no no strokes like Rafa. If Rafa tried this racket, he would not be able to play a topspin at all. Uh, he would really struggle with this with this type of racket. And also, I felt that this racket is kind of very flexible to my taste. So the feel, yes, is there. The power, no, is not there. You need to generate your own power. Uh, on wallies I felt a little bit better but once again I felt unstable so I would definitely add some lead here even like two four grams grams maybe on both sides not, not a problem at all and on the surf the racket worked quite good because it's more flexible so it allows you to to play the surf more I would say not with that let's say raw power but more with the with the kind of with the feel oriented technique so i kind of like that on the surf maybe the surf was the best stroke for this racket but guys i'm still at the beginning so this is the beginning these are the first impressions and i'm kind of glad that the first impressions are so let's say not i would say not negative but also not very positive because if some amateur thinks he will now rush into decathlon and he will buy this record and suddenly he will play like guy morpheus or some some pro player not at all you are going to struggle with this record guys you are going to struggle with this record it's for advanced and serious tennis players who really know how to hit the ball who have really great timing great legs great footwork and who who hit the ball a little bit more flat no no spin machine not a spin machine not at all so maybe a good stick for also for one-handed backhand but once again you need to add let's tape there because i feel like it's really head light although it is 305 gram but it is a headlight racket great for customization so guys these were my first impressions for this racket uh, maybe you are surprised i compared it to the prestige racket and not some other racket but i really feel that this racket is quite demanding and it looks exactly exactly like prestige just look at that look at the frame so if there was head i would definitely think it's a yeah it's a another racket from the uh, prestige line yeah the beam it looks exactly like a head 
had prestige tennis racket so guys there you have it these were my first impressions i hope i didn't disappoint you maybe some people are now disappointed because they they thought that this record will be much easier to play with i thought that too i thought that too but this is a serious stick guys not some let's say easy peasy lemon cheesy uh, tennis racket for weekend players so you will definitely need to play with this racket regularly to enjoy it and this racket will push you into the limits but not in the way that it is heavy but in the way that it works only when you hit it really nicely in the center of the sweet spot so guys uh, let me know in the comments are you willing to buy this racket because the price is just unbeatable are you going to test the racket because i think there is a test program also on the decathlon store that you can test the racket like for five days and then you need to return it and obviously with their strings you can uh, put your own string into the racket but yeah this is quite surprising test and i will continue playing with this record testing it more and more and i can't wait to test the record with new balls because the balls were uh kind of yeah they were uh bouncing not well and we played in a windy condition so it was also difficult to hit it correctly but yeah let me know in the comments what do you think about this record what it reminds you this record what other records will you compare this to and i thank you for all your great comments for your great support it is overwhelming it is great uh, i read all your comments i reply to all your comments that makes sense and that are informative and that i feel i can I can benefit from your comments and you can benefit from the comments so it's a great cooperation between you and me so I really enjoy that and I hope you will support me further in my journey so guys thank you very much for watching if you like my channel if you like what I'm doing just click thumbs up button subscribe to my channel if you didn't like what I just said or you don't like the video just click the thumbs down you can i hope it will not happen and when it happens guys it's your problem not mine yeah so guys if you want to support my channel if you like what i'm doing just buy me a coffee the link to the buy me a coffee platform is in the description of the video and i will be hitting with this record more and more and i will show you also the swing weight of this record strong because i didn't measure it strong so it will be mm, a nice another video of this tennis racket by artengo so thank you keep watching roland garo it's a great event great matches and yeah keep playing tennis enjoy tennis every time every day and i will catch you in my further videos bye you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line!